Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. I'm Tola Ojolakwe and today I will show you how to design a library using SketchUp. Today we'll be talking about how we have used materiality and finishes to visualise our fictional library in Clerkenwell. Clerkenwell has a rich history of makers and factories. We sought inspiration from the old trade areas like Smithfield or like Leather Lane where you see a lot of brick, you see a lot of steel, a lot of burnished metals that were used for the buildings. Materiality is really important in everything that we do as a practice. We love warm interiors, warm, comfortable interiors, and we're always looking at tactile finishes, always referencing different colorways and hues to get the perfect um, aesthetic that we desire. We also love combining it with natural timbers, as well as contrasting it with deeper tones like the blues from Playworks here. And for fabrics, we love using woven textures and um, that come from natural finishes. So I'm going to show you what the space looks like as a white card model before we add textures. Here I've used ambient occlusion. It's a great tool because it enables you to see depth and shadow and the relationship between objects and volumes in the space before you add textures and finishes, and we can see the furniture and the different scales of furniture in the space. We were really intentional about the placement of books in this library because the books are the hero. We've created shelving using staggered bricks where the books face you. This is the brick that we've used for the shelving. So we strive to be conscious in our approach with materials that we use. This is actually made from an off cut of wood and essentially is an alternative to normal concrete blocks. I'm going to show you how you can apply real life textures to your models. So you can see the shelving here in the model. We got an image of the texture from the supplier's website and we can insert the texture directly into the color palette like this and with the paint bucket tool we can apply the material directly. Contrast is really important to us in our projects, always striving to kind of create that balance for our spaces. And for the library specifically we use quite tactile finishes for the surrounding walls and then combined it with the darker blue for the floor finish. We also use warm terracotta tones for the ceiling. Really trying to envelop people and really evoke that sense of warmth throughout the space. So here I'm importing the dark blue render. The beauty of this is that it actually comes in at the right scale so you see what it would look like if you were to apply it in real life. And now I'm going to apply the terracotta colour using the paint bucket tool to the wall. I'm also going to apply it to the shelving. Another way that we've introduced contrast in the space is through the staircase and the balustrade. We have used a translucent gradient to contrast a lot of the tactile kind of warmer finishes in the space. Lighting is incredibly important for every project that we do, whether it's low level lighting or architectural lighting. We have a feature skylight for the pause and play area. And then we've played with light and shadow throughout to really evoke that sense of warmth. So SketchUp lets me toggle through different states of lighting. So here you can see it through different times of the day and how light and shadow plays a part in the final design. Thanks for watching the second workshop in the series and good luck with your projects.